Great, I don't remember which one they were. So as you could probably tell today, we're gonna to be removing Chris's little interior. Um, are you pulling the seats, the yeah. front seats? Yeah. Okay, are we'll you getting buckets? Yeah, I'm getting buckets. Okay. Yeah, so pretty much we're gonna start pulling the rear seats, front seats, probably all the door cards, and uh, possibly headliner. Keeping that. Really? Mm -hmm. Just door cards and seats. You're, are you gonna do the, the back yeah, door card things? Off. Okay. Are you gonna do carpet and insulation? Keeping all that for now. So. Yep, just a modest strip. Oh, you said subs. So basically, all the the easy stuff. Yep. Subs. How, oh, because yeah, the, wire. the wire. Yeah. Can't find the hole. I would like to take this piece off solely and leave that, but it's like all along. You can just cut it. Yeah. Lose the space on this one. So fast. That grinder has been your tool of choice this week. Oh, that was easy. Yeah. That's sick. Tube front. Well, the reason for me cutting this off is because we're just going to bother doing a tube front. Um, with the course port off, it was really floppy, and the motor on the car, it was kind of like, at 700 horsepower, you don't really want that kind of flop and stress, and I want like a very structurally mounted front end. Um, so we cut it off, I'm gonna build a plate here, a plate here with like roll cage piping pretty much. It's gonna come kinda like this, and then it's gonna go down here. It's gonna have those two bends, and then we're gonna do a crossover bar, build tabs according for the, uh, the fenders, the bumper, the hood pins, the radiator, since I'm gonna move that forward as well, like about four inches. And then it'd just be easier and easier accessible for the turbo, because that'll be sitting literally right here with the motor on. And then intercooler pipe being able to go around it. All that nonsense. So I have this side almost entirely blocked and now I just put another layer of Bondo. Uh, the only real low spot is back here. We're gonna have to build all that up, that corner right there. And then just some little stuff I did there and that'll be really easy to block off. Um, so besides pretty much this kind of edge right here that we need to build up, uh, I think really the only thing is we're probably going to need some Bondo glass in this corner here. That way we can go ahead and continue the bodywork around. And then uh, over here, as you can see, I did a little bit of bodywork. It's not really going to be too big of a deal because the flare is going to cover that. Uh, we are going to have to do some finishing bodywork here, make sure that all this looks good because uh, the flare is going to cut for the gas cap. Uh, but we're going to be able to see this area here. Anyways, we can go see. We go see what they're doing over here. Uh, as you saw, Frank just cut off uh, some of the core support and uh, almost the fender support as well. I don't really know exactly what it'd be called, but uh, just so we can go ahead and tube the front end. <sighs> oh, dude, did you get a sliver? Everything sharp and <laughs> bay. Every I stab myself there. Well, yeah, well, I'm sure the particles right. from that wheel well, stab no, you. Kinda, it's some sharp, oh. Literally, some sharp edges.
Uh, and what are you doing over here? You're adjusting your steering wheel? Yeah, my steering wheel's upside down, so. Rather have it straight. Okay. Premium fucking stirring. Yeah, not really. What? I said, yeah, not really, but. Swipe or no swipe in Tyler Fialco. I'm just hugging right here, which is where I know where it's level. Gotcha. Oh, uh -huh. yeah, makes sense. That looked a lot better. That was actually a thick wipe. Yeah. Alright, so should we explain to the viewers why we got so little done today? Um, okay. Well, well because he was late. Wow. For the second day in a row, Reasons. so we didn't get out here till like super late pretty much I got this quarter almost entirely done once this gets sanded down It's gonna be entirely ready to start moving on to the back This is pretty much the last major wipe before we move on. Uh, I just had a little bit of low spots uh, About here and here if this were dry enough uh, You saw the halogen was on there uh, to make it dry a little bit quicker uh, I would sand this down and then I'd have it entirely done and ready for initial primer But obviously we have to go because Chris has a real job to get back to um, Anyways over here. We'll see what they got done Frank started uh, well Frank cut off essentially the front half of his car uh, What we're gonna do is we're gonna box that in and then tube the whole front we're gonna have our you know, main hoop and then some supports going down into the frame rails. Uh, this is all gonna be cleaned up and cut off and finished and so that'll be real nice. Um, I think he attempted to put a little bit of Bondo but then gave up. Uh, we're probably gonna do something else. Or actually, I think it started hardening on him. I can see that right there. Um, anyway, so I imagine next time we get out here and if we have a welder, uh, he'll probably start doing that. Um, and then over here, why is your headlight out? Uh, we were working on fender. Okay. Oh, you're gonna try and fix this? Yeah. I think that's a good idea, uh, since you have pretty much everything you really need to at least try to do it. Um, anyways, uh, besides the bottom of the rear seat being in here, I think the interior is pretty much entirely how he's gonna have it. You saw we basically did like half of the uh, center console delete. Uh, we couldn't get the seat backs in the rear taken off because we need a, uh, I think a, a whatever, a Torx bit, uh, like a really big one. So we'll have to bring that next time. I uh, know it's a Torx bit. Inverter. No, it's not. It's literally a Torx bit. Uh, we need a Torx bit and uh, that way we can pull the rest of that off. And do, do you know, uh, is there like a back panel there? No, it's just trunk. It's open to the trunk. Yeah. Okay, yeah, that'll be kind of cool. Um, I'm sure it'll be a lot louder with the exhaust if you had an exhaust, which what the hell are you gonna do about an exhaust? This thing's um, super quiet. I'm getting headers and then all exhausts on this sound really bad unless you get like super expensive. We'll see, I'm gonna try headers and then we'll see from there. Yeah, I mean, I think whenever people do like the, the like E46s that are straight piped, I think they sound pretty they decent. Sound so raspy and bad, so I, I might, um, I don't know, I kind of like it. We'll Maybe see. it's just because I'm a ricer. We'll see. The compressor's on. Yeah, I know. It's all right. We, we talked louder. But yeah, so pretty much uh, ruining an M3, but it's okay because we bought this smashed, if you remember. You know, basically the whole idea for getting this car in the first place was kind of go a little bit drift car. Uh, initially was just to fix it up, kind of daily it while it's still nice out. And then now, over winter, we're going to do full drift car. Yep, not excited. Not excited? Yeah. Why not? It was a good daily, but I got a better daily now, so. Yeah, what's your daily? It's a 740 IL. And then are you going to buy Amelia's wheels? The He sold them. Oh, really? Yeah, so That's I too bad. Need to sell 95s, but I got too much money to focus on this first. But. Yeah, no, I think that'd be cool. OEM plus luck. I've always loved that.